You know, I was reading this data point um, just, just this week that between 15 and 45, uh, women actually don't take decisions regarding their own health, not even their own health. And when we talk about women and how we're feeling and how our health is, we forget to factor in how we're feeling up here. And somehow when we talk about how we're feeling holistically, it's considered like a rich person's problem, a privileged person's problem. So I know you must get a lot of that. You know, you must get a lot of the whole, oh, you're from the industry, you're a Nepo baby, all the rest of that. Has that impacted at any point your peace of mind, your sense of wellness, your sense of sort of just well-being? It used to at the start. I think it like had. Like what would happen? Like I would just break down. Like I wouldn't be able to, uh, I didn't want to go on set. I didn't want to work. I felt like I'm not good enough. I felt like I don't deserve to be here. I don't belong here. So I used to really like, you know, when not. When was this? This was at the start. When I just started out, I would say the first year when that whole, this college thing happened and then that whole round table thing happened, which I think everyone obviously already knows about. No, no, tell, tell You're them. You're known, huh? No, huh. but tell them properly. Okay, so basically I said something on a round table where I was talking about how everyone's journey is different and you can't really compare any two people. You know, the fact yeah. that I may live in a certain city yeah. and someone's not in a certain city, I already have an advantage over them. So things like that. Yeah. And I was sitting with uh, Sid, Sidhan Chaturvedi, and he said something in a very like gully boy fashion, rapper, funny way, he said. And, um, and then I think it got picked up out of context and people started making memes about it and joking about it. And it really, I think till date is something that stuck with me. And I felt like, oh, I need to go and defend myself. I need to clarify myself. I need to, you know, explain what I said properly and I, I've realized that nothing speaks louder than your work you know mm -hmm. honestly you just kind of have to sometimes put your head down do your best work and it'll reach people at the end of the but day. But when you would break down on set who lifted you? I, I wouldn't break down on set because no, we don't I mean, have the liberty set. to do that okay, before but I guess my mom or like my, my, my family or my friends or I've had a really strong support system I've, see, I've done therapy also in the past I'm not as regular now but uh, you did therapy, seek professional I have, help. I have done therapy. What made you do that? I couldn't um, articulate my emotions. I used to just feel very, very down. And the thing sometimes I feel like with mental health and social media is that you may read something in the moment and you may not realize that it's affecting you. Mm -hmm. Because I'm fine right now. I'm having a good day. I'm in the car. I'm busy. I'll read a comment and I'll ignore it. But weeks later, it could still be there in your subconscious somewhere. And things like that really pile up. Mm -hmm. So I think with therapy, I was able to just consolidate my feelings and articulate my thoughts a little better. Do you think there's still a stigma around talking about mental health? Especially when you live in the public gaze? Um, I, there is a stigma, definitely. But I think it's gotten a lot better. I feel like... A lot of people are talking about it now. Everywhere I go, there's always a question about mental health. As an actor, I, I went for the Indian Sports Honor Awards and I was able to host a panel with Sanya Mirza and Avni mm -hmm. and everyone and Laksh and everyone yeah. speaking about mental health. And so it's really opened up. I think the conversation has gotten a lot smoother, I would say. But when you, when you, like, you know, you've just very matter of factly said, and then, you know, I also sort of went into therapy, not very regularly, but sometimes. The first time you had to say that out loud, were you squeamish about it? No, because in my fam family, it's been very normalized, you know. Right. I don't know if I'm saying, you also, I can say my mom has also done therapy. <laughs> mom is sitting there, like, you're asking checking with her mom's if permission, I can is it? reveal her secrets. Please but she's do. also been to therapy. Oh. My grandmother used to do therapy. My younger sister goes to therapy. So in my family, it's been very, very normalized, you know, to seek help if you need to. And that's why I try to do my bit, you know. I've not... Um, kept it a secret. I always talk about, you know, getting help and I, that I've done therapy and I al I'm not an advocate because I'm not going to force people to do something they don't feel like doing or they mm -hmm. don't, but I feel like people should try it out to see if it works for them or no. So if by me talking about it, that makes it easier for someone else to um, go and seek help. That's what I Did it help try you? to do. It has helped me a lot. Definitely it's helped me a lot because sometimes I feel like when you talk to friends or you talk to family, they have very biased opinions. You know, if you're having a problem in your relationship, sometimes if I tell my mom, then she'll have a bias towards that person, you know? Yeah. And sometimes you just want to speak to like a neutral perspective and it's just about ranting and getting your feelings out. Yeah. 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 When did you know you wanted to be an actor? Do you remember how old you were? I like, since I, I can't remember a time where I didn't want to be an actor. And was that your dad? I don't know, because that day my dad was like, even if I wasn't an actor, you would want to be an actor. But I can't say that, you know, I, I don't know. But I've always loved it. And I mean, when I was growing up, my dad never took me, 
I used to take me on a film set maybe once or twice. Mm. So it's never like I saw him that much on screen. And he wasn't even acting uh, in Hindi films as much when I was growing up. Uh, so I didn't see much of my dad as an actor. Um, but I just knew that he had a handy cam and like a video camera and he used to record me um, singing, you know, songs from Main Hoona and Kal Hoona Ho. Like I knew every single Can lyric. Can you please sing one for us now? Kiska hai ye tumko like we have to write. Go like, for it. Sing what? What do you want me to sing? Will you, will you sing with me? We'll I used try. to know uh, that whole Veer Zara song on the Casio and that Janam Dekh Lo Mit Kai Duriya Main Yaha Hu Yaha Hu Okay, yaan, choose a song. Yaan. Choose a song. We'll, I get, we'll get the track out. Three. We'll get the track out. Get the, oh, okay. Choose a song. Can you all sing with me? What yes. song should we sing? Which one okay, should we sing? Okay, you all choose for Ananya. Choose. Come on, yeah. Pretty woman. Maine se abhi abhi dekha hai Korn hai wo anjani he was handy cam for yeah, video. Yeah, and he had those cameras that you know you yeah. could switch so I could see myself yeah, yeah, in the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, that flip, that flip, flip viewfinder, so yeah. I was so fascinated. Like I used to keep being like, show, 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 show. And like I just wanted to see myself. So my eyes would light up every time I saw myself. And yeah, it's, it's, I've always just been like a filmy bacha, you know, doing, you know, parents tell you to dance at parties. I would not need my parents. Like ask them, like, you know, we would I just am going to actually have ask them all our steps ready. I waste them all sitting here and not ask them anything? Yeah, like I have proof I with mean, me today. Firstly, can we have a rousing welcome for the Bollywood wives? Stand again, please. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, can I get you on stage for a moment? Yeah. Come on up. Hey Come on guys. up. Come on up. Come on up. Let's just let's just get you all on because. Oh. <laughs> hey guys. Okay. Okay, come, 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 come. I'm going to give you all a mic. I know you all will have your own session also. Don't tell me you're going to make them dance on offer. No. I can't I, sing. Shalini's not here. This is not their session. They will have their session. Ananya, yes. it, today are you the biggest star or Bhavna? Definitely the wives, Bhavna. All of them. All of them. 100%. Uh, I mean, it feels great. Awesome. And especially hearing from her. No, but I, I don't know if you are the biggest stars. You're supposed to say, no, no, Bacha, you are the biggest star. No, 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 no. We've said <laughs> it enough. <laughs> Your turn. Oh. Okay. What she was saying was that I didn't have to be nudged and pushed into performing. I was just like this filmy child who was doing this. Do you remember? Do you remember like a memory of her as a child? Uh, I mean, I have so. Oh, this is not. I have so many memories from you know all the birthday parties. There used to be. Ananya, there used to be Shania, that's Mahib's daughter, I'm sure everyone knows, yeah. and Suhana, the three best friends, and um, any music that would come on, and before we could even say, girls, you all know this, you know how you just look, you, you all know this, your song, yeah. they would already be on the floor, dancing. Fab. Now, tell us all of you, one month story about, Ana, about Ananya that we don't know. I'm feeling Some like... Some secrets have to be revealed. It's a parent-teacher uh, meeting. Many. Ah, my, 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 my sir, I mean, uh, yeah. she's, she's already said this before, but um, when I was expecting my daughter, I was huge and pregnant, so I used to go to Bhavna's house and I used to order brownies. And this one was a tiny little baby in her nappy. She used to crawl on top of me and sleep. So I had these two babies pushing on my organs <laughs> and I was like dying, but I didn't move. And I think Shania and Ananya's bonding happened there. Wow. And let me also add that I was the first one to tell Bhavna she wants to be an actress. And she said, no, Mahip, what are you talking? I said, she wants to be an actress. Wow. <laughs> Anyone else sharing, spilling some secrets here? Well, I mean, it's, it's not... It's not spilling secrets. I mean, I just heard Ananya say that, you know, she got trolled um, and lied about her admission in a college and whatever. I just want to say one thing, that I know that um, she's a voracious reader, and uh, not that it's a secret, but uh, this is something Bhavna has always told me, that she loves reading and she's a voracious Yeah. <laughs> Yes. It's really embarrassing, guys. I know, you're un totally under the spot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Seema actually, and Ashley cousin. Yeah. Yeah. So you can really tell us a secret. 
<laughs> you know, honestly, Ananya growing up was such a smart, smart kid. I mean, I remember discussing with Bhavna. She used to take extra math classes. Ask, ask any of those math, some particular class you used to take, like the advanced class. I remember asking Bhavna once. Kids usually shy away from that. So when she got this movie, she'd gotten into three of the top universities that people want to send their kids to. And yeah. she's such an intelligent, and she's a super bright, intelligent girl that I was like, no! Ananya, Ananya, why aren't you going? Why aren't you going? Please act like, why aren't you going to USC? Why aren't you going to NYU? And the third one, I remember. I, Ananya, <laughs> what do you feel to see your mom and her sort of friends become these superstars? They're going to have their own panel, like I you know, say. I'm excited. But in typical Bollywood wives way, they are here. But they everywhere. were this reality show. The public is seeing it now for the first time. But we have been seeing it as kids because when they used to have their tea parties, you know, those typical. Were they tea as parties. mad as they are? No, like I feel like this show has happened ten years too late. You know, because they were really <laughs> crazier in their youth, which they're still young. But when they were young, our age, I would say, like. Well, thank you. In uh, right after Ananya, we will have the Bollywood wives and Shalini joining them. Can we have a big round of applause? And I'm going to ask you to take your front row seats again. Yes.